Hi guys, this is Wences. Welcome back to my channel where I help you create a life on your terms. And today I want to talk to you about effectiveness for B-type personalities. See, A-types are people who tend to work a lot and they have to be rather careful in what they put their effort in, that they really think about the things that they're doing. There's much more drive behind it. B-types on the other hand are much less stressed, have a much more laid back look at life and have other challenges therefore. So I'm a B-type and most of my viewers are B-types. So let's get into that. So one of our main problem is procrastination and really getting into a state of I should do it. We can tell ourselves as much as we want that, oh, okay, I'm not doing it because I don't know, nobody really cares. It doesn't really make a difference. Like there's so many things we tell ourselves why we don't go for the things we wanna do that will get us moving forward. But in the end, it's because we're not self-disciplined. Let's say you wanna get fit and you know you're gonna get fit if you start going to the gym and you very well know it's not gonna work out if you go to the gym once a week for 30 minutes and then everything's going to be great. So you say, well, why should I go then at all? Like. I'm not gonna be able to do that much more. That's all I can do, so you don't do it at all. And then there's the other fraction who says 30 minutes is not enough, so I'm just gonna start working out five times a week. Well, I've seen both. I have seen both declarations and I've seen nothing happening. I've seen people saying, okay, I'm gonna go 30 minutes a week. It doesn't make sense, I stay home. And I have seen people who say, I'm gonna go five times a week and they never actually started. Although the day before they told me, I'm so gonna promise I'm gonna do this. I know I'm going to do this. And the next day they already flunked out of it or they were able to do it for a week and then everything is going downhill from there. See, none of these things work. No matter what we want in our life, we have to continuously work on becoming a person for whom this new task is not something that is difficult. So I right now go to the gym probably four to five times a week. And I was somebody who was exhausted at going to the gym once a week. But I knew that if I want to become somebody who's fit, I need to go more often to the gym. It doesn't have to be four or five times. That's just me and I love doing other things, but to do it continuously. And I also know 30 minutes a week is not going to be enough, but I knew very well as well that if I want to become somebody for whom working out is normal, I have to be that person who says, well, I'm gonna start with 30 minutes and I'm gonna stick to 30 minutes. And I'm gonna do that until going to the gym once a week for 30 minutes is something I would never miss, which is just as part of me as brushing my teeth is. It's just something I can always count on and I become that person for whom this is normal. And once I became that person, then I was trying to say, okay, I'm gonna put myself out of my comfort zone again. I'm gonna go for two times a week, 30 minutes. And then after I kept doing this, this too became a new thing. This too became like not only a want, but I need. I needed to go to the gym twice a week in order to feel like I'm being myself. I became that person. See, those things are so important for B-type personalities because you have to understand this is how we go through life. We're always in this laid back position. We always observe more. We just enjoy life as it is. And we have to climb up one more ladder, one more podium, one more plateau, and then we can relax. And we're always going to get back into this relaxed mode. A-types are different. They're mostly in this go, go, go mode and they have to remind themselves, look how far you've come. Now lay down a little bit and observe, like realize what you've created and maybe through that realize that you need to change directions. So we have to understand that our natural tendency as B-types is to relax and there's nothing wrong with that because that really allows us to enjoy life. It really brings us so much benefits, you know, one of which is that B-types have less heart attacks. Like those things really are not something we have to have a problem with, but we have to be aware that we have to become that person that first of always puts ourselves outside of the comfort zone. And then second of all, defines what is our comfort zone over and over again. So we have to be really honest with ourselves where we're at. See, so many of us say like, I'm gonna do those five tasks this week, watch me do it. And then you're not able to do those five tasks. And then you say like, well, it didn't work out because I had so many other tasks to do or because that wasn't that important to me. And this happens because you don't wanna admit to yourself that you're not the person who can handle those five tasks. They might seem small. Maybe those five tasks are done in half an hour. Doesn't change the fact that you're not able to do them. And every time you told yourself, I'm going to be more careful with what I eat, or I'm going to be more careful with the jobs I choose, or I'm going to like really write three resumes a week. Well, you haven't been able to do that. Maybe this takes half an hour only, but 
mentally you're not the person for whom this is normal so first you have to accept where you're at and where you're at is probably that all you can do is work out 30 minutes a week maybe you're a person who can only look at job sites for 30 minutes a week and then is overwhelmed that is okay you just have to be honest with yourself where you're at so i always kind of had difficulties with getting to know people that i could end up in a relationship with that was kind of difficult for me. I cringed at the thought of it. It was always so difficult. And for example, dating sites were something that just scared me. I, every time I would just look at that, I would just cringe and it would be so uncomfortable for me. And I just pushed myself to lock in there, just like maybe talk to one or two people. And if I get uncomfortable, I get out of it right away because this is where I'm at. And then I push myself to maybe do it more than once a week, maybe twice a week. And then without me noticing, I became a person for whom this is normal, for whom this is not a big deal, for whom this is not something that makes me feel uncomfortable about myself. And this is such a mundane thing you might think because like, okay, we're talking about like dating sites, who cares about that? But that has so much to do with all of those blocks you have built in your mind, right? It's just like this mundane thing, but if you don't push yourself to always get out of your comfort zone and in a way that is not overwhelming, you're not gonna get anywhere. So I had to really accept where I was at, which was when I started this journey, I hate my job. I don't like where I'm at. I don't have anything that represents my life. I don't have anything that makes me feel good. I had all of these things that said, okay, this is where I'm at. And then I had to start building something for myself. And I had to say, okay, I'm going to build a vision board. I'm going to think of the things that I want to do, the different facets of my life. How do I want to show up in life? Who do I want to be? What do I want to represent? What kind of things I want in my life? And I just build them. I have a vision board and I just tell myself, well, what can I do this week that will get me a step further to this? And I'm very much aware that I will not be able to do what my friend can do who's been in this forever. So I have friends who are, for example, a lot more physical than me. I'm not comparing myself to them and think I should be able to put as much energy into working out as they can. I do the least hard exercise variation there is. And I do it until I get to a point where I feel comfortable. It's all about the exponential learning curve. That's a typical B-type scenario. You have to become the person for whom this is normal. And this will only happen if you don't overextend yourself, if you're being consistent, and if you set weekly goals for yourself. So if you're at a point where you feel like, okay, I wanna change that, I wanna get a better job, then each week do a little thing. If that means I'm gonna start looking at job sites, that's all I'm gonna do. Like the thought of me looking at that is already overwhelming because there's so many fears attached to it. I'm just gonna push myself to look at it for 30 minutes this week. And then next week, you're gonna force yourself to look at it for one hour. And then the next time, maybe even find one thing. And then you start parallelly writing a resume. Like it's all about steady, slow progress while admitting to yourself where you're at. In most cases, we do not want to admit to ourselves where we're at. It's so much easier to tell ourselves, well, I'm not going to look in that direction because that doesn't matter to me or because I can't change anything about it than to admit to ourselves, I actually want this thing in that direction. But if I'm being really honest with myself, I'm somewhere down there. And then I'm going to start from that little spot right there because the more truth this spot is, the more it's going to stick while you build it. See, I'm so confident in what I talk about here and the things I do because when I started this, I started from the most authentic and vulnerable place I could have thought I could start. And I started at the bottom. I had built this great image of myself and that's all it was, an image. It was not who I was. It was like my safe way of going into the world and presenting this thing that people wanted to see and I couldn't get hurt. But if you can't get hurt, it's because you can't be seen. And that was hurting me inevitably. So I needed to be seen. And those were the productive things I needed to work on. See, this is the thing that B types have as an advantage. You're more aware of things. Be aware of the things that really matter to you. That will help you be seen. That will help you to create a version of yourself that is as true to you as it can be. And then you push yourself out of your comfort zone each and every week to be one more step ahead in becoming a version that can handle the next step. And you're not doing it with this one goal that will set you free. You'll do it because you know that's the only chance 
you get at being happy, for you to walk towards your happiness, for you to walk towards your freedom, your passion and your truth. And you can very well decide how that's going to look like. I hope that helped you. Let me know in the comments what kind of things you're doing as a B type and maybe as an A type. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want me to help you with your life and getting to the next level, check out the link in the description for one-on-one coaching. I wish you a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.